When Kelly and I left home to do this run, I made her leave the umbrella at home. We're going out west. We won't need it. Well, welcome to Louisiana and a torrential down. Thank you for coming to Keeping History on Two Wheels. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so that you'll be notified whenever we do an upload. Welcome to Louisiana, and most of all, welcome to New Orleans. Louisiana is a state in the deep south and south central regions of the United States, with the Gulf of Mexico to the south. A large part of its eastern boundary is demarcated by the Mississippi River. Also, with a multicultural, multilingual heritage being so strongly influenced by a mixture of 18th century French, Haitian, Spanish, French Canadian, Native American, and African cultures. Louisiana is a hotbed of activity driven by so many cultures all working in harmony. The capital is Baton Rouge, but the largest and most active city in Louisiana is, of course, New Orleans. New Orleans sits on the Mississippi River near the Gulf of Mexico, nicknamed the Big Easy, it's known for its round-the-clock nightlife, vibrant live music scene, and spicy singular cuisine, reflecting its history as a melting pot of French, African, and American cultures. Embodying its festive spirit is Mardi Gras, the late winter carnival famed for raucous costumed parades and street parties. Even though New Orleans is most famous for its 24-hour-a-day partying, there are so many other things to partake of when you're in the city. The area is chock full of culinary delights, or as they like to put it, culinary delights. Throw a rock and you will hit an award-winning eatery in, of any culture. Speaking of food, you can go to New Orleans and not stop in at Café de Mont and get a couple of beignets and chicory coffee. Music is the backbone of the city of Nala, and they have some of the best and most versatile musical clubs and theaters you could find anywhere. If New Orleans club music is what you're looking for, go no further than Bourbon Street, where it would seem that every doorway has a tune flowing through it from every genre. Speaking of music, New Orleans has no shortage of street musicians as well. We found this one outside of Café du Monde. Jesus. 
Whether you're going to New Orleans on business or pleasure, you can't go there and not spend a little time to see some of the sights. Take a riverboat ride on the SS Natchez or hop on one of what seems to be a million carriage rides. You might want to take one of the haunted cemetery tours, but be aware there's only one with nighttime cemetery access. Take a tour of the famous Oak Alley Plantation. <laughs> Change out those oaks for pines and it looks like my driveway. Welcome to South Georgia, right? Take a quick run down Bourbon Street and just quickly check out the clubs or hang out all night. And don't worry, you will see the street performers. They will camp out in the street just so that you will see them. You can Uber, catch a taxi, grab a carriage, or even a bike taxi. Mobility in NOLA is not a problem. All of this being said, there is one thing you need to be aware of in New Orleans. New Orleans has a huge problem with homelessness, drug and alcohol abuse, and crime. So stay sharp and have good situational awareness and watch out where you step. You may just trip over someone sleeping or passed out on the sidewalk. Thank you for coming to Keeping History on Two Wheels. If you like this video, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit ring that bell so that you'll be notified whenever we do an upload. Also, if you feel like it, hit us up in the comments. It helps the algorithm and we try and answer them each and every time one comes in. Always remember, every trip starts with a step. And that step, <laughs> well, it starts with you.